So February uh, 24th, 2024, we'll host our second annual uh, Coldest Night of the Year walk to benefit MICA. Um, the need is, is even greater than last year. Um, we were, we love the support we saw. Um, the word that comes to mind is solidarity. We saw over 670 walkers walk in solidarity with um, uh, the, the staff at MICA, with our neighbors in need uh, through MICA, and just being a part of a community that, that wants to support uh, the thought that nobody has to sleep outside. Um, so to, to see that, that kind of uh, support last year, we were, we're excited to build upon it this year. Um, and and we've, we've got a goal uh, of trying to raise about $150,000 this year. So uh, we did it, uh, we raised 170 last year. Uh, so we can do 150 this year. Being a volunteer with Micah, I see the, the work that the staff is doing day in and day out um, and, and realizing that, that uh, missional needs have changed for other shelters in our area and the, and the, and the responsibility has lied uh, or has, has fallen upon Micah to, to take care of the least and the lost. Um, they do that admirably and they do that um, 24 hours a day. Um, so, to, so knowing that both of our cold weather shelters are seeing uh, nearly 70 uh, men and women who are now warm and safe because of the work that Micah does, that's something I want to wholeheartedly support and I hope everybody else can as well. Jill, there's something about doing this when we stand out here on a day like this that really brings this to, you, you see what this is all about. Yeah, it it drives the point home. Like, if if I were sleeping outside on a night like this, I, I can't even imagine no. what, what our neighbors who experience homelessness deal with every single night. And that's why we're so happy to be able to provide cold weather shelter for them and run in two sites this year you know a men's site separate than a women's site has made a lot of difference for our neighbors just in terms of the comfort and capacity of our cold weather shelter program and we um if we <laughs> if there's one thing that we saw last year with our coldest night walk it's that our community cares our community cares about coming together to help those who are experiencing homelessness and a day like this reminds us uh, of how important it is uh, all the work that we do day in day out night in and night out so we are excited to do coldest night of the year again we will be wearing these beanies and and walking through the sidewalks of downtown Fredericksburg again on Saturday February 24th how do I sign up ah I can tell you so it's cnoy.com slash Fredericksburg right now we have a whole bunch of teams already signed up you can sign up part of an existing team so like if your church already has a team if there's a community group that you're a part of that already has a team you can go to that website and jump right on the team but you don't have to have a team for to, to participate like you can go to that website and just sign up as an individual and when you sign up you get handy dandy links and a lot of direction about how to spread your fundraising link so that you can raise your $150 at minimum, right? So you can get one of these hats. Everybody who raises $150 gets one of these hats, but the sky is the limit. All of the money that we raise through this event goes towards the ongoing work that we're doing at MICA.